I think a far-sighted policy of really addressing climate change as what it is, which is a worldwide emergency, uh, would unleash enormous potential for economic renewal because we would basically have to embark, governments would have to embark on entirely new investments in how society is organized and in, uh, in harnessing of, 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 of uh, wind and solar power uh, and uh, uh, that I think it would create whole new industries and whole new uh, uh, public investment. Uh, so I think it would create more jobs, it would result in uh, our children and grandchildren having a planet that they could actually uh, survive in and live in and prosper in. Uh, so I think that um, uh, it's critical. It's really critical to the to the survivability of the of, the, of our um, of the human race that we address climate change. And uh, as Bill McGibbon has said, <laughs> time is already has already run out, but we're already now fighting a, uh, a, um, a, a rear guard action on climate change. Uh, but there is still time, and luckily one thing that human beings have d demonstrated is a remarkable ingenuity to solve problems once they recognize what they are and then once they attack them uh, uh, collectively.